In this video, we're going through a step-by-step -step method to get your videos to rank in the top of the search results using the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer. So stay tuned. This is Dennis Wright for the Online Digital Tutor. We hope you like and subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for tips on getting your online business off the ground. Now, if you can get your videos to rank high in the search results, you can get a lot of organic traffic through the YouTube search engine. You want to create videos for your target audience so they watch through your entire video. You want your average view duration to be above the 50% mark. If a video gets a long average view duration and starts accumulating watch time, this is going to make YouTube happy because it keeps people on the platform. So the tool we're going to use to do keyword research today is called TubeBuddy, a free Chrome extension. There is a paid version which adds many more useful features. Step one is picking your keyword. Here we start with the term PLR product. Now you want to find a keyword that gets a lot of search volume so that your video shows in front of more people so they can actually get seen and get more people on your channel. Right here at the top is your Explorer tab. This is where you type in your keyword. Your overall score says poor because that's a broad topic area, but don't panic. We're just starting the process. You want to look at other metrics. Now with the free license, basically, you only have access to this unweighted tab. It's showing you the overall search volume, competition, optimization, strength, number of videos, and number of monthly searches. With the paid version, you get the weighted tab which takes your channel into account. This is why it's a good idea to upgrade to the low cost paid version. Now you have this chart showing the views, the average views of each video, and the one next to this is the lowest view count video on this keyword on the first page. This is your barrier. If your video cannot get this number, there's no point of targeting this keyword. So the search volume is good, but the barrier is 198 views. So for this small channel that's getting an average of 22 views, this is not a good keyword to target because you're not going to rank. You have to get at least 198 views to be able to rank on the first page of the results, and that's in the first seven days, which is when YouTube pushes new videos. So let's tweak the keyword and see if we can come up with a relevant one where we can reach that barrier. So now we use the title, how to rebrand and sell your PLR products as a keyword, something more specific. The overall score is good, and remember, it's specific to my channel. The search volume is poor, but for a small channel, it's not poor for me. The competition is excellent, showing how this keyword is for my channel versus the competition. Ideally, what you're looking for is a keyword where the competition isn't high. The optimization strength is excellent, meaning it provides an opportunity to break in and rank for the keyword by properly optimizing my video. Now, there are not a lot of people targeting this specific keyword and actually optimizing their video for it. Optimization basically means that you're using this keyword in your title, your description, and your tags. In my description, the keyword has to be within the first 200 characters because that's where YouTube is pulling out keywords and you're also going to see it down in my tags and you're also going to hear me say it right at the beginning of the video. Your keyword is what you want to use for your title, but you want a title that's compelling so that someone actually clicks on it. And to complement that, you want to create a compelling thumbnail, one that's going to stand out. The lowest video view count found in top ranking videos is 12. And since I average 22, there's an excellent chance of getting that video ranked. The search volume might be small, but it's not small for my channel because these are potential subscribers who are looking for this content. You want to find places where you can actually get onto those search results. So if something has 100 or 1,000 views, that's a good keyword for you to target when you're starting out and you have a smaller channel. Make sure that you have the search volume that makes sense for your channel. So that's how you optimize a keyword using TubeBuddy, but you still have to have good content. Optimization can get people to your video, but it's good content that keeps them there. And that's the ultimate goal. Watch time and loyal subscribers. Subscribe and stay tuned to this channel for the latest information and resources to help you get your online business off the ground and check out this video.